Hello there. Welcome to C-Terms. Today, we will learn about different techniques to bypass multi-factor authentication. Let's understand what is 2FA. Multi-factor authentication is an electronic authentication method in which a computer user is granted access to a website or application only after successfully presenting two or more pieces of evidence to an authentication mechanism. User enter his login credentials. Now the application will ask for the code generated by the authentication app. If the code is correct, the user will be logged into the application. This was a simple workflow example. By passing 2FA, by passing 2FA via auth mechanism. An OAuth integration is a third-party login mechanism that allows a user to log in using a third-party account such as Facebook or Google. For example, Site.com has the option to log in with Facebook. Facebook grants the login. User will successfully be logged in into application without 2FA code. By passing 2F at using conventional session management, many application logged in user after the successfully complete procedure password reset functionality. Using this functionality, the attacker can bypass the two-factor authentication. For example, request reset password token. Now change the password using the token and user will be successfully logged in. By passing 2F at with brute force attack, in case of 2FA, if the field is not rate limited, there is a possibility of brute force attacks using which the attacker can brute force the 2FA code sent to the device. You can use Burp Suite Intruder for the brute force attack. If rate limit exists, then the attacker can bypass it with various techniques. C Terms will soon upload a video about various techniques to bypass the rate limit. To get the notification, click on the bell icon below. By passing 2FA using race conditions, an attacker can utilize previously used or unused values of tokens to verify the device. However, this technique requires the attacker to have access to the previously generated values, which can be done via reversing the algorithm of the code generation app. By passing 2FA using response manipulation, this can be done by manipulating the response of the server, changing the response of the wrong code with the response of the right code. For more video, please like, share, and subscribe to C Terms.